Morning, everyone. Uh, today I'm going to present to you a better version of MessageBox. Um, anyone that does any development in any of the languages, doesn't make a difference in any platform, you know the importance of conveying a message to the user and making it as comprehensible, legible as possible. Now, the message box is a great tool, but let's be serious for a second. It is monotone. It is static, and there's no way to bring attention to certain aspects, shall we say, of the message you're trying to send to your user. And several years ago, I wrote a blog article about a tool I had found online, and I called it the Enhanced Message Box. And as you can see here, it permits HTML straight in your message box, your dialog. So you're able to bring the attention, the focus onto the aspect that you particularly want to focus on. You can do the, all the standard HTML formatting, which really makes it a powerful tool. And you're able to do other things. As you can see here, you have the ability to allow the user to copy the message so they don't have to retype it or they can save it to disk and things like that. So this is what I'd like to present to you today. This isn't my creation, but um, it's definitely something I think developers are unaware of and truly should be exploiting. It's free, it's very easy to implement, so let's take a look at it together. Okay, so obviously the next step for us to be able to continue is we have to go on his website. Um, so right here I have a link on my blog, Enhance Message Box. And once you click on this, you're going to be sent over to the original uh, website for the article and examples and the sample download that we're wanting. So it will bring you here. And if you scroll down, you've got screenshots, you've got some code examples, as you can see, very simple. And we just scroll down, keep scrolling down until we get to the section that here says code and demo database. And directly under the image, you will find a link to download it. It's not exactly very easy to see, but download the enhanced message box, click on it, and it'll download the file for you. Okay, now we can get rid of the article for right now at least. And we'll just make a copy of that file and put it on desktop just to make our lives easier for right now. Now remember, Microsoft's new macro blocking, so don't forget you have to first unblock the file. And then you can uh, extract it to the desktop. And then we will create a database to do testing. Enhance message box. Now we can open ours, enable the content. We'll just put it over here. And then we can open his. Now by default, he has this nifty little testing form that allows you to compare and look at how the features work and things like that. So if you were to, let's say, press the standard message, that's it, there you go. All monotone, one type of font, you know how it works. and. You press his enhanced version, and you can't see much of a difference. Because of why? Well, because we haven't done any formatting. But if you start getting into using formatting, you'll see the big difference. Here, everything is, even though you've done some rich text formatting here, as you can see, bolding, you put a, a color, it doesn't show in the standard. But if you use his enhanced one, you start seeing the advantage and much more dynamic icons, and as I said, you can benefit from even having buttons to be able to save directly to your clipboard the message. It makes it so much easier for uh, users to be able to report errors. So just a nifty tool you can try out and just see a little bit how it all works. For our purposes, so if we want to incorporate this into an existing database, so I'm pretending this is an existing database, all you have to do is drag over the form dialog form and the dialog module. With that, you are now ready to use his code, his tool, and it works very simply. So if we open it up and bring up the VBE, the Visual Basic Editor, let's see how we can call it. So let's start off by looking at how we can use this. And what I've done here, as you can see, I created a simple separate mod testing and I created a sub test, just so we can play around with this guy a little bit. And it's very simple. 
and I'm going to say it over and over throughout the next couple minutes, everything is on his website to get you started. So let's look at the very first example of just a standard message box, right? So if we want to do a standard message box, you just come here and you'll see here, he's got a standard example here, message uh, just using a dialog box, which is plain text. But let's be serious, the whole point of using this is to be able to use HTML, you rich text. We wanna make this dynamic, vibrant, and that's what this example here is. So if I copy this guy and we come into our VBE and we simply paste it, okay? We're gonna see right off the bat, there's an issue copying from his website. Well, let's fix that. The first thing we wanna do is align continuation here. The next thing we wanna do here, for some reason, we've lost the concatenation. Once we do that, everything's in order and it will work. So let's, uh, let me, excuse me, let me indent it and let's run it to see there's still uh, two problems that we have to address. Now the first one, as you can see, is the line break doesn't work. So let's fix that guy. And he has it on his website. He even tells you, you need to use BR. That's HTML's equivalent of a line break. So we do that. Now we've got in two lines. Beautiful. However, if you notice here, there's also an issue. And the issue happens, and it doesn't always happen. I haven't found the exact cause. I'd have to do more digging, but for some reason, this space doesn't get respected. Well, we can force it by using HTML entities and you just use a non-blank space HTML entity instead of a space. And now we've got a properly formatted message. So as you can see, <clears throat> just basic without messing around with anything, just a simple message title and buttons, we end up with a dynamic visually appealing message with HTML, bold colors, etc. more dynamic imagery for the icons, and you have these buttons for copying to the clipboard the message to save. You can even save it to a file. Now this empowers your users. Now they can copy and email you the exact message. So there's no more guesswork. I, I believe this is what I saw and things like that. No, no, you're going to get verbatim. So let's look at some of the options with this guy. Well, what's nice is he's made everything that you'd want uh, configurable. So you don't need to go messing around in all of his code. Okay. There's, there's quite a lot of code behind this guy. Okay. And we don't want to have to go mess in this and we don't need to. So I'm going to draw your attention to the first thing. Let's rerun it again. You'll notice the button doesn't activate immediately. There's a delay. Well, that delay you can control with an input argument. So if we look on his website just first quickly, if you come down here, he's got a section of options. And we're going to come back to the command buttons in a second so we can do another example because right now I'm just doing the VB uh, OK only. But you'll also see here he has a section on button delay. He has a section on beep. He has a section on hiding buttons. And so everything is detailed here and explained. But let's just look at the button delay. And you'll say here, you'll see here, he has explained. Disable the delay, you put zero. You want to make a three second delay, you put three. You want five seconds, you put five. So you can control the delay. So let's look at that input argument. So I'll just put a comma here. Okay, help file, no, that's not what I want. Help context, I, no. Button delay, perfect. I don't want a delay. He said to use zero. I put a zero second delay and we'll rerun it. And you'll see the button is now enabled immediately. There is no delay. And like I said, you want to make it longer, make it five seconds long. Well, now you're going to have a five second delay. Just have to wait and it will enable itself. There we go. Five second delay. So you can control that. The other thing, let's keep going. He gives us many other options here. Allow copy to clipboard. Yeah, I want to leave that. A save to file. No, I don't want that. Well, we just put a zero. And now if we run it, that button is now gone. I changed my mind. I don't want to be able to copy the clipboard. Well, I just go back one and add zero. And now that button is gone as well. 
So as you can see, you are in the driver's seat. You have total control and you don't need to mess around in his code. He's given us right there natively as part of the call all the arguments to control every aspect of it. Okay, I said we'd look at a concrete example with more than just the VB okay. Once again, go to his website. He's got it there. Let's look. He's got an example here of using a VB yes, no, cancel. So let's do that. We'll just copy it. And we'll come here and paste it. And for some reason it didn't copy it. So let's try that again. We'll do a copy and a paste. And in our case, we don't have these commands. So I'm just going to add an else and if, and we'll do a debug.print and we'll do true. And here we'll do a debug print and we'll call it false. Okay. So as you can see, it's just a standard call to the box and you can use rich text here as well. So we can switch this to rich text, the real reason we're using this. Sure you want to, and we can, you know, have a bit of fun here. And then we just have to end the font tag. And let's say that's what we have. We'll save it and we'll run it. And you'll see now that I have the options. Yes, no. So I say yes, I want, I want to delete. And you'll see here we get true. Now, I wasn't happy there. I had a three second delay. Well, I just come here and I put my zero second delay. We rerun it. My buttons are immediately enabled. And this time I say no. And we got false in the immediate window. So as you can see, we have total control and we're able to easily configure, manage, and trap which buttons are being clicked by the user, just like we would with a standard message box. So it's no more complicated than that. Next, my last little tidbit of information here is I wanted to demonstrate just how simple it is to upgrade a database. Let's say you have an existing database. Let's say you're taking over this, but that doesn't make a difference. You have a database and it has, let's take this guy here. Okay. Uh, what do we want? We want this. Okay. So we've got all of this. And let's bring this up here. And let's say we've got a, um, no. Uh, right, you could have something like this, right? It's nothing too complex, nothing wild. You see this in numerous places. So we have a simple standard message box. And in a, a typical database, you're going to have hundreds, thousands of these different message boxes all over the place. So how do I go about upgrading this, an entire database? I don't want to have to go around and find them and do them one by one, a tedious task. Well, it's very simple. And realistically, you wouldn't have this either, right? You just have a standard message box because there is no HTML in message box. There we go. Well, it's very simple. Before you do the importing of the objects. And why do I say that before? Because in his code, if we look at it, you have a message box all over the place. So we don't want to end up uh, copy and replacing me his message box. So before we import, you would simply come here and do a find and replace on message box and you'd replace it with dialog dot rich box and you do it on the entire project or else you'd have to go module by module but typically if you haven't imported the, his form in module you can do it throughout the entire project in one foul swoop now i already have it in this project so i'm just going to do the current module but that's all you'd have to do okay now that you've done that you are now ready to use it. There's no other change. Now you'd import his dialogue module in his form 
and you're ready to simply test it and you are now using by default his setup. So automatically, without having done anything else, your users now have gained the ability to copy to the uh, clipboard or save it directly to uh, a file. Next, you obviously probably want to get into possibly changing the delay. And you also are going to probably want to get into adding some HTML because that is the whole reason for having this enhanced message box. Uh, for that, however, you're going to have to go around and manually do it. Um, if you're the type of person that has constants that control your message box messages and they're well organized in a module somewhere, the public variables, well then your job isn't even easier because you can go in one location, update them and your entire database has been updated. If, however, each individual message box is uh, coded separately, then you've got the job of going through and slowly updating them to use rich text as you want them to use. But I just wanted to demonstrate that a simple find and replace, and you can instantaneously already do a step up and give your users already that functionality of copy to clipboard, save to file, and even nicer icons in reality before even getting into the ability to actually format the text. That'll do it for this presentation. Um, like I say, it really is a nice little addition utility to add to any database. Uh, I add it to every database I work on. It just works, it's beautiful. And it was really nice of him to make it available to the public uh, for free, open source, nothing's locked down. Everything's there for us to use. His website is well organized. It covers most of the options available to you with examples. Like I said, when you open up his database, uh, he has an example here, you saw it at the beginning, but when you open it up, he even has a testing form that allows you to play around a little bit and see the different results for yourself. So you get to see the different options and how they work. But all in all, a beautiful little addition to add to your projects. And I hope you will. Drop me a line, guys. Let me know if this is something that you find useful that you might integrate into your solutions. Or am I way off base and you're happy with the standard VBA message box? Um, was this something you were aware of? Is this something you've been searching for? Let me know. Drop me a line. Uh, please like, subscribe. If you can share with your network in any way, promote my channel videos, please do so. And it is greatly appreciated. Thank you for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me. And we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, guys.